President Clinton says he believes Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in killing President Kennedy 30 years ago today. The anniversary of JFK's assassination was marked with somber tribute across the country. At Arlington National Cemetery, many people visited the eternal flame at the young president's gravesite. At Dealey Plaza in Dallas, where the assassination took place, thousands gathered for a solemn ceremony, and Mike Capps was there. A sea of faces jammed Dealey Plaza, stood on the famed grassy knoll near the Texas School Book Depository and the famed Triple Underpass, an area designated a National Historic Landmark. This plaza witnessed not a battle for democracy, but the gravest betrayal of democracy. Former Texas First Lady Nellie Connolly traveled in the presidential motorcade. A bullet wounded her husband, the late former Texas governor. Mrs. Connolly unveiled a bronze plaque dedicating Dealey Plaza. It is hereby dedicated to the future generations of Americans with the hope that the legacy of John F. Kennedy will inspire them to reach for greatness in their own lives. On a sunsplash day almost identical to the one 30 years ago when the president died, a mixture of rich and poor, old and young, came to pay respects. Some who lined the parade route 30 years ago returned to remember, as did thousands who watched the events unfold on television. For them, the passage of three decades has not dimmed vivid emotions and memories. Chuck Brown autographs pictures made November 22, 1963. He and his two sons watched as the president was shot to death. The dedication ceremony stirred emotions. I, it, it really makes me feel good because we went through some lousy days back then. And uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, everybody seems a little bit solemn now. This woman stood along the parade route only a few feet from a fatally wounded president. My life was changed that day and it'll never be the same because I feel like that he was my president and they took him away from me. A, a prayer from a Dallas minister summarized feelings about John F. Kennedy. For his loyalty to that kind of generosity that is not concerned with how little but how much he can give. Thirty years later, the assassination site now stands as a historic landmark, so future generations can remember. Mike Capps, CNN, Dallas. And headline